the subject GIFs. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Uh, GIFs is a very general subject. I try to, 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 to take this title, Death of a Medium and Its Life Afterwards. It's a little bit of provocation because actually GIFs are not dead and they are not half dead. So I formulated this. Why are we so far? All right. One moment, please. I try again. Ah. Ah, yeah. I'm going to tell you more while I'm trying to repair something I uh, inadvertently destroyed. So death of a medium is a provocation, but of course I'm not meaning it's already dead, but that uh, it's been said to be dead many times, at many times from for various reasons. It was uh, at some point even wished for, for its death. Now I have l solved the problem. So again, how many deaths of a medium? And in the last days I realized there is another subtitle, a statistical sad dance. I wanted to make a statistic about the use of GIFs in web. And I had a few, yeah, not too pleasant things. I'm going to talk to you about it later, but I'm going to warn you, there, there won't be too much statistics. I'm going to give you some story and hint and background. I'm, I'm going to go through the different annou death announcements of GIFs. I'm not going to say it happened three times, but uh, the three most important. First, burn all GIFs. It was in the 90s, and there were license problems with GIFs. CompuServe, who had this format, didn't think about the, that the algorithm to encode the GIFs and to decode them, I'm sorry, to compile them, that uh, there was a, a patent on it and somebody wanted to claim it. So all the programs using GIFs or uh, displaying GIFs had to, play, uh, to uh, pay license. So the internet was not too happy about that. And later, they, it went so far that there was a lot of protests, burn all gifts. It was a protest action with this nice motto, gifts is over and the alternative is PNG. It was uh, uh, 95, 94 and PNG, you probably know it all, it's a, it's a graphical format that's very similar to GIF but it's just better and it's free software. Here is the address from Burn All Gifts. The, the, the fun part is PNG, PNG to, it took PNG 18 years to uh, override the GIF. This is uh, a message from 2013. Well, it's, it's a little bit far-fetched, more popular, because it just says I'm going to show the statistics about it. It just tells that more more websites use PNG than GIFs. And the comment from Thomas Buttel says, is he's the, uh, the main developer of PNG and is happy that uh, after 18 years PNG is triumphing. Here is the statistic of the use of GIF and PNG. Uh, the source of this, uh, this data is W3Rex.com. The percent, we, you can also watch this on the website itself. I asked uh, if we can have uh, older data from, uh, from this is from 2012, this was in their press data. I ask, um, well, no, we cannot help you. They, they started uh, 2012. It would have been interesting to see the development, uh, the, the first tile of the statistical sad dance, no statistical data. Well, the next problem then was that when PNG was uh, made, they didn't incorporate animations into it because animation weren't the thing by thing. And then they found out you could add animations in and uh, not many browsers could do it. But it was slowly 
added to it, even though it was never planned. Later on, other projects tried to add it. MNG and APG were popular ones. That was 2001 and 2007. I'll show that to you later. But um, they couldn't compete with GIF. GIF already uh, was the, the only format back then that could show animation and had enough time to take over already. And they just gave up on APNG because uh, they couldn't fight GIF. They just said it will never come back. Challenge accepted. When I read that, I thought, all right, so, that sounds like a challenge. Congress, a new dawn. My Aufforderung, benutzt mehr APNG. The grund is so that's why I'm saying, it's, use more APNG. It's free and open source. Um, it's of better quality. You have much more ways to configure, and it's still a picture format. Here is a time series of the development of APNG from 1994 to 2014. A war raged on between GIF and uh, PNG. First on in 1990 there had these license problem and then in 2004 APNG was invented. In 2006, in there was the Burn All Gifts campaign to get rid of them. And then in 2001, MNG was finally released. Right after actually animation were already popular on the net with GIFs. MNG was independent, so they thought they should add it to PNG. So APNG was founded in 2004, which stands for Animated Portable Network Graphics. But they weren't really able to do it. So in 2006, all of the GIF patents ran out, so all of a sudden there was no need for another free format. And then nothing happened for a few years. And then in 2012, the real hype started. Two years ago, uh, at the 25-year, when, when just were in use for 25 years, this hype opened up in, in sharing animated GIFs. So, if you actually look at the statistics, um, the statistics that says, well, PNG is more famous than GIF, this must only incorporate like non animated ones because it's clearly that all animations on that are GIFs. Safari, the browser, by iOS 8 and Josemite, the APNG Unterstützung eingeschaltet wurde. All of a sudden, after now, this is. After it was clear that GIF was more popular, now all of a sudden Safari and iOS now finally supports APNG, which is even more confusing. APNG is the development of Mozilla, and of course that's why it's it's part of uh, the Firefox. And uh, you should try it; it has a better um, quality. Second is MySpace. Well, it's not a technical death, it's more an aesthetic death, aesthetical death. There is a very, very nice gallery from uh, Olio Linen, who said, uh, uh, the talk I, 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 I referred to previously, they have a nice gallery in, uh, in internet where they compare animated GIFs from the 90s, from the glitter GIFs from MySpace, on the left side, the dancing woman, and, uh, and a similar animation of uh, a glitter GIF on the other side. What's the problem with that? There is no problem, I would say, but there is just a different way of uh, dealing with GIF, just to uh, a, new, a new genre of GIFs. You probably all remember what you can do with GIFs, what you can make glitter 
Uh, everybody had uh, decorated their MySpace site, uh, or you could also have under, under construction shields that move around uh, world maps. It was the 90s. It was uh, back then animation because something moved. Uh, with the glitter, it was just two, three frames with a few white lights. You can see this uh, differently. Maybe you just uh, think it's just aesthetically not very uh, interesting, but these glitzer glyphs are, are just a lower level. They are easier to, to, to adapt for, a, for another public. Uh, they are very good to decorate websites. It has uh, pros and cons. But uh, you, can, you can say this is the rise and fall of a GIF culture, it's the second death of a GIF. It's not a real death, it's more like an aesthetical death. Let's talk about the third tools. Video killed a GIF. It's the actual development. Maybe you've uh, heard about it, that uh, the format web um, GIF and GIF V. Uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, they they arrived on the on the scene and uh, they are a challenge for GIF. Well, it is something to observe. Let's make a little excourse. Porn. I just wanted to have a slide where porn where where there's the word porn on it. I admit it. So if you've been in the deeper, deepest parts of the web, uh, you probably know there are not only dancing hamsters and funny film scenes, but also a lot of porn, uh, like adult uh, entertainment. Uh, GIFs in, uh, have a lot of tradition uh, as uh, animated, uh, something like thumb cinema, you probably know this, uh, where there is a hole in, uh, in, in slides and you can turn it with your thumb, motoscope. Uh, they, there were a lot of these systems, but one image you probably all know, it's the galloping horse from Edward Moybridge. It was somebody who made chrono photography. He didn't do this animation, he just do the, the photo series for this and just put the images one after the other just to check if the horse uh, leaves the ground uh, while galloping. If It was the first animation. As animation dargestellt werden konnten durch mechanische Apparate eben. One of the first animations that existed. So this Syrian photography uh, from this uh, my bridge. He really liked the motifs of naked people and also prostitutes. They asked them if he could uh, take pictures of them. So it wasn't porn. It was erotic um, pictures of naked people. Let's see an example: an, a naked man work doing some woodwork. A very classical scene. So, so that's the way tables are done. I, I left explicit scenes outside. Maybe there are children here, but they also um, um, had a scene of a, of a naked woman climbing a stairs, just with the rationale to see how they move. But they were just naked. So now, how can I come back from? Porn, how can I come back to GIF? I have a very interesting thought. Maybe you know this uh, legend. Uh, VHS um, managed to overcome beta because of the porn. Who knows VHS? Well, it used to be the, the, the future. But it used to be the porn only uh, were available on VHS, although beta uh, had the best quality. Well, still, even though beta was much superior, the legend is that VHS actually was able to beat uh, beta because uh, porn actually used it to distribute their movies. So the actual truth behind it is that VHS also offered longer playtime, so there's actually much more to this than just the simple porn industry. But still, since there's this legend, I was wondering 
uh, maybe we should also use this kind of criteria to see why GIF actually is uh, used. So that's why I looked at how GIF and weapon is used for porn. So I went onto Fortune, <laughs> the butt of the internet. Because they have a really practical way of doing stuff. They have um, forums for like um, all kinds of topics. One column is just related to porn. One of the boards they have is, or oh, they have many boards for this. One of them is just. And it's uh, full of porn. It's pretty much full of porn. So they have a porn and a non-porn GIF imaging board. So uh, it's really nice to observe these. And um, now Webman comes in because uh, it's now supported by Fortune since uh, 2014. So, so that makes everything really, really interesting for us. Because you essentially have videos now. You could have videos uh, that are infinity long or even have sound. So what they, they added the rule that there is not allowed to be sound and you're not allowed to have a certain file size or bigger than certain file size. And um, all videos will be looped. So I thought I should take a look at it and collect some statistics. One of the problems I encountered was that uh, everything is deleted after a while, so um, I had to use archives. I had to go even deeper into the internet looking for these archives. Um, there are different archives for different um, forums. And uh, I had to find the ones for the porn and the non-porn GIFs and use them. So I sent them an email and asked them if they could just send me the statistics. So they told me, well, there's no function to collect these. Um, so I just had to do it myself using Python. Uh, and I created the ugly but functional script to create the statistics. This is just for WorkSafe, so the non-porn form. It's, uh, it's over two years, 2013 to 2014. So the last time I did this is uh, 14. So the blue bars um, start in April. Um, they show the amount of uh, WebM videos. And the black line is the sum of all images on the forum. And you can see that the number of GIFs declined over time uh, since WebM is supported. Well, in the beginning there was a peak because everyone wanted to try it. But you can't really say statistically that the decline of GIF is related to WebM. Still, it's interesting to see that there's a decline. Well, it's probably just an end of a hype. That's one of two boards of 4chan. The second one, I wanted to do this, and careful, the statistics look very different now. So it's shorter and much higher. So you're laughing because uh, you can interpret this. Uh, but unfortunately, there's just much less data in the archive. Uh, this very small uh, bars, it's when it started, when the, the, the archive uh, started. The backup, and after that, there is a, f a, f um, a full backup for each month. So it's not very um, reliable data. 
but I didn't have more data to use. So uh, this has to be observed in the future, but I think it's uh, very uh, relevant. Uh, the porno board GIFs are, uh, and there are much more uh, web M's. What's the reason? Well, they have a better uh, uh, picture quality. They can be longer, and you can you want to see something. And uh, and uh, in general, there are just much more pictures in the porn board than the general one. There is uh, an archive from 4chan uh, that's hosted by University of Stanford. I tried to unpack it. It was three gigabyte uh, file, and I just unpacked it. And it was one and a half million data files. I, look, I had a look at it and I realized I, I, it's completely uh, useless. It's just uh, the gift board is, is not uh, uh, in the archive. Well, to the question, what is the relationship between GIFs and WebM uh, in the porno? Um, only for 4chan. It's, it's very good to, to, to compare it because they have uh, two different boards. And, um, but otherwise, it's there can be similarly analyzed. GIF macht deutlich mehr Gebrauch von WebM als WSG, also das WorkSafe GIF Board. On WebSham, GIF is uh, much more, the GIF board, uh, the porn board is, um, uses images much more than the non, than the safe for work board. Let's, uh, let's sum up. GIFs versus PNG. PNG is a free alternative to GIF that was developed and only 18 years later it could uh, um, be on top. Uh, the animated APNG, they have no chance. They, they couldn't uh, override. They were, they were not for a ship's shitstorm. GIF, GIFs were, were ship shitstorm victims, but they're now a cult medium. From GeoCities, uh, MySpace, there, uh, there was an evolution from uh, various platforms. Some, some types of GIFs are dead, but uh, in general there are much more types of GIFs than before. It's more, the, the culture, the GIF culture is richer now. Uh, from art to porn, from self-made to automatically made, uh, everything is there. A lot of choice. So uh, at the end, this, it's a lot of text. Maybe you can have a look at it later. You can read the slide after. I just talked already. These are just a uh, comparison of the advantages. The most important point, I'm going to reduce it because of the time, it's just WebM or GIFV. They are just, they are just more aware of the GIF culture. Yes, the animation. The react of the needs of the users. The users want a high uh, definition porn. This is not possible with GIF. It's not possible with porn, some say. There will be a format available to have a highest definition as possible. There is a trend of high quality GIFs of Reddit. Uh, the possibilities of GIFs are being really uh, used to the maximal extent. They are like little films. It's a new sort of GIF. They, are, they can be really big and Imager, the, the, the most uh, proponent host for, uh, for images on, on Reddit, said, all right, we're going to develop GIFs V, what's just MP4 is, just to uh, be able to cope with this loading time. Smaller files, better quality. So, what's the moral of the story? We have a software that's uh, that's uh, that's passed, but it has a cult status. We want to have a better software. It's PNG or APNG. Or, uh, the problem is, the free software is not automatically convincing, and even the better quality. I really find it nice that PNG wasn't developed. Uh, I, I have Linux. Um, it wouldn't work, but from the broad majority of users, it's not really recognized that there is a free alternative to a proprietary software. Even the better quality cannot convince people um, because PNG and APNG uh, offer a better quality. What's the solution? So, what's the solution? Porn? 
Almost. It's, it's much it's important to get a common sense um, or some sense about what the users need. So for mainstream and for um, groups, uh, borderline groups. Therefore, um, Therefore, as you can see, Web and MGIF are much more uh, popular and much more widely used than the so, informatic or computer scientific beta APNG. And now, you've seen the statistics and it's rather incomplete, but I'll try to update it and and I'll do some research on Fortune. Next project, um, I'll try to also do it on Reddit. It's it's a much larger platform and it's a big endeavor, but, but it's important and they have to be researched. If you're interested in it, and I'm open to, and I'm looking for help, so if you want to talk to me, or if you have some ideas, just come by, and um, I'll, I'll try it. And also, last but not least, use APNG. Thanks a lot for your attention. Because I just ran through it, um, I apologize. If you have any questions, please ask me now. Or just go to my blog, leave a comment. Um, I'm a con culture scientist and I'm using this for culture science. If you have any questions, just ask me now. Thanks, Felix. Two more minutes for questions. If you have a question, please go to one of the microphones and um, I can see anyone. But the signal angel is uh, asking the questions. Yeah. Okay. Eine Frage, und zwar, uh, I have a question. Somebody wants to know if if you think that the browser PNG did the browser didn't implement PNG properly. Yes, of course. That's one of the main problems of APNG. Just like I said, Mozilla had it uh, by default. Could you please be quiet? Thanks. That's the main problem. And that's why I said, uh, or that's what well, I said, uh, the reason, that's the reason behind APNG and PNG not so popular. But now, these days, Safari and iOS also support it. So it's it's weird that APNG gave up after only eight years, even though uh, P GIF also took 18 years to be successful. Please be more be quiet as you go out, because there are other questions. A uh, general question. Is it GIF or GIF? Okay, who is for GIF? Uh, <laughs> moment. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't, I, I on purpose didn't say anything to it, and it's a big discussion in the English speaking community. And I think uh, normally, as a German, it's weird to say GIF because it does, doesn't go well with the floor. So I think everybody should just go ahead and pronounce it however he wants. And even though the official developer complained that it should be called GIF, but uh, I think it's, it should be up to you. Um, there was a really interesting um, idea that was sent in by someone on YouTube or somewhere else. So the file should be the file format should be called GIF, and the culture should be called GIF. Uh, I think that's a great idea, but in, in I don't do we care have another question from the internet? Then, <laughs> Mike Fear. Hello. Hello. Uh, first, a little bit remark. The first question was that PNG format. It took a long time until all the brothers could integrate it. 
Um, it also hold me back from uh, not using GIFs. So I said something directly to that? That's completely correct. The, the funny thing with the GIFs, uh, it was just about the same. The problem was about the same. Um, while GIF was supported in all, by all browsers, uh, the animation in GIF also if you needed have a time. Quickly, please. My, my question is, I find it weird that you said the animation in GIFs were, were discovered. Wasn't it a, a, a specification? Was it a mistake that it worked? Yeah, of course there was a file specification and it, um, it contained some information or some specifications for animation. But it mostly said, well, there could be animation, but we didn't build it for it. So the browsers just agreed to a common way to do it. And it was discovered in 94 by someone and he just wanted to show them and he found GIF to be a valuable solution so he pretty much just covered it and he then told it to people and um, if you're interested in it just go onto my blog and uh, read up on it. I actually uh, wrote a little article about it.